Hello everyone, this is Dr. Simone Atkinson, once again with another video to help you prepare for the NCLEX. So this video includes questions on fluids and electrolytes. It is not a full comprehensive review. You can find another video in my channel that covers fluids and electrolytes comprehensively. Today I just have prepared approximately 50 questions and answers of facts that you should already know in order to help you succeed in answering NCLEX questions. So let's get started. The normal sodium. A normal sodium level is typically in the range of 135 to 145. What can hypokalemia cause? Hypokalemia can cause heart arrhythmias, muscle cramps, and weakness. What is a primary component in TPN, total parenteral nutrition? Glucose is a primary component in TPN. The nurse should monitor blood glucose levels and assess for signs of hyperglycemia. When a client is on TPN, why must the nurse assess for hyperglycemia? The nurse should assess for hyperglycemia because one of the primary components of TPN is glucose. High urinary output, e.g., 4800, may indicate symptoms of hyperglycemia. What is a normal calcium level? A normal calcium level typically falls within the range of 8.6 to 10.2. What fluid is frequently used for burns? Lactated ringer solution is often used for burns. What can hyponatremia cause? Hyponatremia can cause seizures, confusion, and neurologic complications. Seizure precautions should be instituted. What do Chvostex and Trousseau signs indicate? Chvostex and Trousseau signs indicate hypocalcemia. How should intravenous potassium be administered? Intravenous potassium should be administered using an infusion pump to regulate the rate. It should not be administered by a gravity infusion and should always be diluted. What is the fluid of choice for the rapid correction of hypotension? The fluid of choice for rapid correction of hypotension is 0.9% sodium chloride. What is the normal sodium value? The normal sodium value typically falls in the range of 135 to 145. If sodium is too low, what could this lead to? Low sodium levels could lead to altered mental status and seizures. What is the normal albumin level? The normal albumin level is usually in the range of 3.5 to 5.0. What is the function of albumin in terms of fluid balance? Albumin helps to keep fluid from leaking out of vessels. When serum albumin is low, what can it cause? Low serum albumin can cause pitting edema. What route is the best way to give burn victim medications? The intravenous route is the best way to administer medications to burn victims. When would a 14-gauge catheter be appropriate? A 14-gauge catheter may be appropriate for administering fluids and drugs in pre-hospital or emergency settings or for managing hypovolemic shock. When would an 18-gauge catheter be appropriate? An 18-gauge catheter is typically used when infusing blood or large amounts of fluids in adults. What is the Parkland formula, and how much fluid is given? The Parkland formula is used for calculating fluid requirements in burn patients. Half of the calculated fluid volume should be administered in the first 8 hours. Blood transfusions can only be run with what other fluid? Blood transfusions can be run with normal saline. Trousseau's and Schwastex are signs of what? Trousseau's and Schwastex signs are indicators of hypocalcemia. What is the Trousseau sign? Trousseau sign is observed when a blood pressure cuff is inflated and the wrist experiences spasms. What is the Schwastex sign? Schwastex sign occurs when facial twitching is elicited after tapping a nerve on the side of the head. What signs and symptoms can result from hypocalcemia after a parathyroidectomy? Hypocalcemia following a parathyroidectomy can lead to symptoms such as tetany, laryngeal stridor, seizures, and cardiac dysrhythmias. Is hyperkalemia or hypokalemia a side effect of ACE inhibitors? 
Hyperkalemia, high potassium levels, is a side effect of ACE, angiotensin-converting enzyme, inhibitors. What are examples of isotonic intravenous fluids? 0.9% sodium chloride, which is normal saline, and lactated ringer solution. What are examples of hypotonic 4 fluids? 0.33% sodium chloride, 0.45% sodium chloride, half normal saline, 0.225% sodium chloride, 0.33% sodium chloride in 5% dextrose, D51 slash 3 NS. 0.225% sodium chloride in 5% dextrose, D51 slash 4 NS. What are examples of hypertonic intravenous fluids? 10% dextrose in water, D10W, 3% sodium chloride, hypertonic saline, 5% dextrose in 0.9% sodium chloride, D5 NS, 5% dextrose in 0.45% sodium chloride, D51 slash 2 NS, 50% dextrose in water, D50W. Name some foods high in sodium. Some examples of foods high in sodium are processed meat and cheese. Intravenous potassium chloride 5 to 10 milliliters pre-HR is recommended to correct hypokalemia. True or false? True, intravenous potassium chloride at this rate is recommended to correct hypokalemia. Potassium is never given via which three routes? Potassium is never administered via intravenous push, intramuscular injection, or subcutaneous injection. What is expected during intravenous infusion of KCL? During intravenous infusion of potassium chloride, irritation and discomfort at the site may occur due to KCL's irritant properties. If there is discomfort when infusing KCL, what should the nurse do? If the patient experiences discomfort during KCL infusion, the nurse should slow the infusion rate but should not stop it since the patient requires potassium replacement. If 20 to 40 milli equivalent of KCL are needed to be given, use a central venous access device rather than a peripheral vein. True or false? True, if a patient needs 20 to 40 milli equivalent of KCL, it is advisable to use a central venous access device rather than a peripheral vein to prevent vein irritation and damage. With dehydration, you get hypotension and tachycardic. True or false? True, in cases of dehydration, patients often experience hypotension, low blood pressure, and tachycardia, rapid heart rate. Isotonic solutions, 0.9% NaCl and LR, are given to expand intravascular fluid volume and have the same osmolality as plasma. These solutions replace fluid volume associated with vomiting, diarrhea, burns, and traumatic injury. True or false? True, isotonic solutions like 0.9% sodium chloride, NaCl, and lactated ringers, LR, are administered to increase intravascular fluid volume. They have similar osmolality to plasma and are suitable for replenishing fluids lost due to conditions like vomiting, diarrhea, burns, and traumatic injuries. An early indicator of hypocalcemia is numbness and tingling of the lips. True or false? True, an early sign of hypocalcemia may manifest as numbness and tingling in the lips. What is the rule of nines? Explain the numbers. The rule of nines is used to estimate the extent of burns on the body. It assigns percentages to different body regions, 9% per arm, 18% per leg, 36% for the torso, 1% for the perineum, and 9% for the head and neck. What is the Parkland formula? The Parkland formula is a calculation used for fluid resuscitation in burn patients. It involves administering 4 milliliters of fluid per kilogram of body weight multiplied by the total body surface area affected by the burn. How to calculate the Parkland formula? To calculate the Parkland formula, multiply 4 by the patient's weight in kilograms and the percentage of TBSA affected by the burn. Then, divide the result by 3 to determine the amount of fluid the patient should receive in the first 8 hours of burn treatment. 
Lactated ringers contains what electrolyte? Lactated ringer solution contains potassium as one of its primary electrolytes. More specifically, lactated ringer solution contains a combination of electrolytes, including sodium, chloride, potassium, and calcium, which are essential for maintaining electrolyte balance in the body. Which patients should LR not be given to? LR should not be administered to patients with acute kidney injury, AKI, or those with chronic kidney disease due to its potassium content. What is the normal phosphorus value? The normal range for phosphorus levels in the blood is typically 2.4 to 4.4 mg per deciliter. What is the normal magnesium value? The normal range for magnesium levels in the blood is usually 1.5 to 2.5 mg per deciliter. What is the normal calcium value? The normal range for calcium levels in the blood is generally 8.6 to 10.2 mg per deciliter. Hypocalcemia is a potential complication of thyroidectomy. The parathyroid glands that regulate calcium are sometimes removed during thyroidectomy because they are so small. Watch the patient for signs of hypocalcemia like Trousseau and Schwastek signs. True or false? True, hypocalcemia can occur as a complication of thyroidectomy, especially when the parathyroid glands, which regulate calcium, are inadvertently removed due to their small size. It is essential to monitor patients for signs of hypocalcemia, including Trousseau and Schwastek signs. What is one reason for giving calcium gluconate for? Calcium gluconate is administered to treat magnesium overdose. What is the most accurate indicator of fluid loss or gain? The most accurate indicator of fluid loss or gain is monitoring weight measurements. What are signs and symptoms of dehydration? Signs and symptoms of dehydration include poor skin turgor, dry mucous membranes, tachycardia, rapid heart rate, orthostatic hypotension, a drop in blood pressure when standing up, weakness, and lethargy. Decreased sweat production can lead to what? A reduction in sweat production can lead to hyperthermia since sweating plays a crucial role in cooling the body. After a burn, do not place ice, ointment, creams, or butter. What do you do? After a burn, the recommended action is to rinse the burn with cool running water, remove any clothing around the burn, unless it is stuck to the skin, and cover it with a clean and dry cloth. What do you closely monitor when giving furosemide? When administering furosemide, it is essential to closely monitor the patient's blood pressure, potassium levels, blood urea nitrogen, BUN, and creatinine.